Yo, what is up guys? AD here back with another Destiny Child video here on the channel. And in today's video, everyone, we are on Destiny Child Korea, and we are going to be summoning for the newest five star wood type units here in Captain Elysion. So she was released here during the Aragna Break season 37 event. And she does seem to be a pretty good unit overall. So I decided to save up some crystals and we do have a decent amount to hopefully summon her up in today's video. As for the units, there she is, Captain Elysion on the screen right now. She is a wood type supporter. So there she is nonetheless looking very beautiful here. Of course, Elysion did have a four star unit in which we can check out in the album page as well. If you guys haven't seen the four star version or you don't recognize her, Let's find her here. She should be somewhere on the screen and there she is the original four star version of the unit. Now she did receive a new natural five star as you guys had just seen and she does look amazing. So hopefully we do manage to pull her in today's video. Now before we do dive into the summons, let's check out the skill set overall. Here it is on screen. We do have the tap skill here. 373 damage to the target, a 52.5% chance for full charge to charging ally raid only. As for the slide skill here, 870 damage to the target, minus 2 cooldown reduction for 2 turns to 3 wood type allies, a 70% chance here for awakening for 2 turns to 3 attacker wood type allies raid only. As for the drive skill here, 2178 damage to 3 random enemies, plus 3000 HP shield for 22 seconds to all allies, plus 900 drive charge to self, and a 75% chance for full charge to 2 charging allies, raid only. As for the leader skill here, plus 30% skill charge speed to all allies, and plus 25% weak point attack to all wood type allies, raid only. So overall, she does seem to be a pretty strong unit. I've heard she will be very amazing for the world boss trial. So would love to summon her up. Hopefully we do manage to pull her in today's video. Now, before we do dive into the summons, let's check out her drive skill here for Captain Elysion. Now there she is looking very beautiful. I do love the amazing detail in the recent units here on Destiny Child Korea. The drive skills have been looking amazing. So there it is once more. Make sure to let me know what you guys do think of this unit overall in the comments and let's dive into those summons. All right, everyone, as you can see, we do have the 30 out of 30 guaranteed upon summoning banner here for Captain Elysion. Hopefully we do manage to pull her in today's video. As for the other banners here, pretty standard with Aragna Breaks. They do have the burst banners up. So yeah, let's see what we do manage to pull here. Hopefully the Elysion in a quick summon. I would love to see her pop up very fast as I don't have enough crystals to actually go for the full 30 out of 30 so we'll have to get pretty lucky here in today's video let's see if we can manage to do so and hopefully pull the new amazing looking Elysion. I wish all versions were synced up as I would love to have this unit on global, but nonetheless, it's okay as of course we could just play the Korean version. So hopefully I do manage to pull her today. We don't have a ton of crystals, so hopefully she does pop up quickly. And if you guys did happen to summon for this unit, make sure to let me know in the comment section below if you guys did happen to pull the new Captain Elysion on Destiny Child Korea. I've been told that she'll be very good for the World Boss Trial and isn't too necessary for the current Ragnar Break event. That's good to hear, at least she's pretty flexible. But as for my status here on Korea, I'll definitely need her on my Ragnar Break team as I honestly don't have too many wood type units here on Korea just yet. I've actually just started up my account again and did decide to grind up some crystals for this unit as she does look amazing. So let's see here if we can manage to even pull her. We're having some pretty rough summons here. Now we do have mileage, so let's see what we do manage to receive from here. We do have 500 crystals and the five star summoning ticket. Now we do have 23,000 crystals remaining. Let's see if she does pop here with the remaining crystals. As for this multi summon, no luck there. So this is pretty much the hard parts in my opinion here on Destiny Child Korea as you do have to have a ton of crystals saved if you do want 
the units from the guaranteed upon summoning banner as they could be a bit rough as you guys could see here in today's video so far we did have over 40,000 crystals and there she is we did manage to pull her thankfully we did manage to pull the new captain elision in today's video there she is the wood type supporter now it did take quite a while i was going to say as you do need a good amount of crystals if you really want the guaranteed upon summoning child here on their respective banner but there she is we did manage to pull her we were complaining a little bit and she did manage to pop up so i'm very happy with this pool make sure to let me know in the comment section below if you guys did pull for her and if you don't happen to play the korean version make sure to let me know what you do think of the newest five star version of elision here all right everyone before we do end off this video we are going to awaken the new elision so let's see how she does look here in the s class costume of course we do have the awaken all button and hopefully she does look good in the s class and there she is looking beautiful i do love the design here with the backsplash of the waves as well as the palm tree and she's tied up here looking amazing so overall a very beautiful costume make sure to let me know in the comment section below what you do think of the unit's design overall and of course if you did manage to pull her here but anyways everyone that'll pretty much do it for today's destiny child korean summon tier for the newest five star wood type supporter in freedom elizion make sure to let me know in the comment section below as i asked already how your summons did go for this newest wood type supporter and of course if you don't happen to play korea make sure to let me know what you guys do think of this character's looks overall but before you go everyone make sure to leave a like on this video as well as make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't yet done so already and are interested in more content just like this video here today and make sure to check out the other social media links in the description box below to my twitter account as well as to my twitch channel in which we do live stream there on the weekends and with all of that being said i'll see you all in the next destiny child video as always thank you all so much for watching